What up, friends? It's Reviews with Booze, and I'm Winston Smith. Oh, it's great to be talking to you motherfuckers today. And I wanted to talk about the most recent release from Black Sabbath, 13. The first fucking record with Ozzy in fucking 30-some-odd years. Can you believe that? Well, as for me personally, I really enjoy the Dio years, and uh, sadly wish that there almost was another Heaven and Hell record coming out right now. But beyond that point, hearing this album, at first I was like, fuck, these old, uh, what I don't know about Ozzy, man. Those, some of those recent albums have been pretty shabby, you know? Like, I don't know, I was just afraid for a money grab or some shit like that. But alas, I feel like this shit is kind of the real fucking deal. You know, it fucking feels at heart. You know, you could tell, uh, I think, um, you know, Tony Alme's going through cancer. Also, it's like this may be the last Sabbath thing ever. It's the first thing with Ozzy. All of these things add up in a line in the heavens and pretty much come up with a pretty solid fucking Sabbath album. The thing that I love most about this fucking shit... Cheers, friends is the tones. Uh, Giza's tones and Tony's tones just fucking go together so goddamn well. It just sounds great. This is one of the best sounding fucking albums that I've heard. Maybe ever. It just sounds so good to me. Anyways, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, a, it's the Chiefy Chief or, the, or what, but it just sounds fucking fabulous. Um, it took me a while to, to kind of get to learn these songs. I had to listen to the album a lot. And that's not a bad thing. Um, because all these songs are fucking nice and long. I was scared that fucking Sabbath might do a bunch of three-minute, uh, radio wannabe rehashments of Paranoid. And this is just not the case. You know, the first song I heard, of course, before the album came out was a single. Um, God is Dead. Question? God is Dead. Anyways, and, um, I just, it was, you know, nice and heavy, long, um, pretty epic. It just... You know, it encompasses uh, everything that that era of uh, Sabbath really was with modern day technology. You almost wish you could hear the old albums with that fucking shit going on. And, uh, yeah, I was really presently surprised. I definitely fucking had to go uh, rock that shit out, pick up a concert take. Can't wait to see the tour. Uh, fucking, it's gonna be awesome. It's kind of legendary. You know, uh, track four. It's different, but it you know it has some sweet percussion. Awesome slow song. I really enjoy it. The chorus on track three, Loner, oh, just makes me feel like uh, I was in the 70s or some shit. Like when I'm flashing back, sitting there, you know, enjoying a cold one and uh, listening to fucking the rock and roll. <laughs> and that chorus drops in. I'm just like, God, this shit is awesome, you know. The bonus tracks are pretty righteous, too. One thing I will say is most of this, this it does all kind of gel. Like, it's like an hour of music, and it all kind of uh, molds together, in a way. So, if you're first time to hear the album, maybe a little uh, uncomprehensive to the actual individual songs. But, uh, over time, you know, I was pleased. Pleased with Ozzy, pleased with everyone, you know. I just know that uh, there's a few parts where I'm sure Tony was just like, Gaza, Gaza, play this awesome bass line and let me bust an awesome cellar like it's my last. And he does, and it fucking rips, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm pleasantly surprised with the new Sabbath. It, it's uh, it's pretty awesome, you know, after 30-some odd years to be able to have a Sabbath release and shit. Those are my thoughts, motherfuckers. I'm Winston Smith. Y'all are watching reviews with fucking booze. And I bid thee all adieu. We'll see you on the road.